The Battle of Veri, also known as the Siege of Veri, is a battle of ancient Rome, approximately dated at 396 BC. The main source about it is Livy's Aburb Condita. The Romans were led by a dictator named Marcus Furius Camillus. Their opponent, the Etruscan city of Veri, a large city close to Rome had engaged the Romans in a long and inconclusive war during which it had often been under siege. In order to break the siege once and for all, a tunnel was reputedly built beneath the city. Livy describes the scene with the Vientines holed up in their city. The main Roman force encamped outside and a second force set to attack from within via the tunnel. After Camellius had taken the auspices, he had uttered the following prayer. Pythi and Apollo, guided and inspired by thy will I go forth to destroy the city of Veri, and a tenth part of its spoils I devote to thee. Thee too, Queen Juno, who now dwellest in Veri, I beseech, that thou wouldst follow us, after our victory to the city which is ours and which will soon be thine, where a temple worthy of thy majesty will receive thee. He attacked from all sides. Relying on the superior size of the Roman army, Camillus attacked the city on all sides. The intent of Camillus' attack was to distract the Vientines from the mine by forcing their soldiers to defend the walls. The Vientines wondered what had happened to make the Romans, after never stirring from their lines for so many days, now run recklessly up to the walls as though struck with sudden frenzy. As the unsuspecting Vientines rushed to defend their walls from the suddenly frantic Roman army, the Romans entered the tunnel. At this time, the Romans emerged from the entrance of the tunnel inside the Temple of Juno and the forces inside and out, quickly overwhelmed Veri. After the fighting slackened, Camillus offered to spare the unarmed who began to surrender as the soldiers gathered loot. The wealth so impressed Camillus that he gave a speech during which he turned and stumbled which was seen to be an omen of his later condemnation and the sack of Rome, the latter of which followed a few years later after the Battle of the Allia. Bibliography Primary Sources Livy From the Founding of the City Trans Canon Roberts Wiki Source Secondary Sources Grant Michael The History of Rome Faber and Faber ISBN 0 to 571 11461 X